Hey guys, more logic tips for you, and in this one we're going to look at the automation quick access controller. A very simple but powerful feature of logic. So you just need a single hardware controller. Any hardware control slider or pot on your master keyboard or any hardware controller like a Korg Nano controller, anything. No matter how simple. And if you haven't got a fancy controller and you just have a very basic master keyboard, then the modulation wheel will work fine. You just need a single hardware controller, right? Then you go to Logic Preferences, Automation, and here, Automation Quick Access, which should be off. Click Learn Message, and Logic is now listening. And now you just move that hardware controller, right? You just move that hardware controller and then click Done. And that Hardware controller is now learned as the automation quick access controller and it's switched on. Okay, and now any parameter you choose from the automation, that hardware controller will be mapped to that parameter. So put on your automation. And uh, if we want to write automation, you've got to set the uh, automation mode here to write, latch, or touch. I find touch is the best. And then you just choose a parameter, and that hardware controller will be automatically mapped to control it. So, you know, you've got basic volume and pan are always displayed here. So I choose volume. I'm controlling the volume. And if I want to write the volume, all I do is hit play and write in some volume control. Hey! Like that. Com command Z to undo. Okay, and then you think, no, I'll do some pan control. So I choose pan. Now the hardware controller is controlling the pan. I can write in some pan moves. <laughs> Yeah? Command said to undo. Then you think, you know what? Uh, I want to control a parameter of the synth. Well, this is an instrument track, right? So go to the list here. These are all the synth parameters. I'm going to uh, control the filter cutoff. So choose filter cutoff. Boom. And now the hardware controller is controlling the filter cutoff. And again, you can write that filter cutoff information. Do filter sweeps, whatever you like. Right. Command said to undo, all that kind of stuff. So just choose the parameter and that hardware controller is controlling it. Just bear in mind that in the controller list, main are all the main components of the channel for the track, the volume, the pan, the sends, those kind of things. Right? Then if it's an instrument track, the instrument itself will have all of its parameters listed to choose and control. And then if there are any insert effects on the channel, such as I have an EQ on this channel, you can choose and control any individual parameter of the EQ, or any individual parameter of the delay. I've got a delay on the channel. Any individual effect plugin on the channel will be have its own list to choose a parameter for that plugin. Okay, easy peasy, right? So the automation quick access controller. Assign it. Choose your parameter, whether it's a channel or an instrument parameter. And that hardware controller is automatically mapped to control that parameter, and you can control or write control moves in, do what you like. Easy peasy. I hope that's useful.